York City restaurant group is joining a number of restaurants nationwide by getting rid of tipping. Danny Meyer owns 13 restaurants and is a leader in the industry. Meyer says by eliminating tipping, employees who want to grow financially and professionally will be able to earn the opportunities based on the merit of their work. He says the move will benefit the cooks and dishwashers who will get a better wage and maybe even not have to worry about all of those tips. And this means that meals at his restaurants will maybe go from like a chicken dinner from $25 to $39. Now, Kim, I know you've worked in the restaurant industry. How do you feel about this? Well, in terms of like the price difference, you know, prices go up. I don't know. I feel like you don't have to tip, so it's kind of a wash anyway. But I did have two different bartending jobs, one at the uh, country club, the Lafayette Club, where we were not allowed to take tips. Our base wage was $20 an hour. Really nice to know what you're going to expect every day you go in. I also was a bartender at Buffalo Wild Wings where we pooled the tips and then divided it. Mm. I have to say that created some tension because mm -hmm. if you had oh, one sure. bartender not pulling their weight, you kind of got picked on a little yeah. bit. I worked at a restaurant in high school. I earned $9.75 an hour working at Redstone when I was in high school. But Kate, uh, a recent survey found that women are actually more likely to tip than men. So do you think this will benefit restaurants overall well, at these restaurants? I wonder that if, it, if the service would suffer. That would be my question. I think a lot of times I would think that servers work harder thinking, well, maybe I'll get paid better based on how much they're going to, if they tip me more, mm -hmm. if, my, if I'm doing a better job. So I almost wonder if they know it's just flat across the board, if maybe they won't work as hard. But it's hard to say if you're a good employee at a good restaurant, it maybe won't make a difference, but I don't know. I, I would think that it would be a little different. And that was my first thought too, was will the service change? And I don't think that it will at restaurants like this. I see if this expands across the country, it could be an issue. But I also think, I mean, they're saying $25 to $39. I'm sorry, I was a waitress and I tipped very well. I yeah. wasn't tipping $14 on a $25 dinner. So I think that's a pretty big upgrade. Yeah. And it's nice that everyone gets paid the same, but I don't know. I think that could impact well, people going in the I door. Mean, it, yeah. could, it could impact service. That's absolutely true, but I don't know. From a customer standpoint, it's always kind of bothered me that these restaurant owners now expect the customer to pay their employees mm -hmm. with when it comes to tips. It just doesn't feel right to me. So maybe this will create more of a balance in that. Sense. When you think about the average wage for a chef, a sous chef, or an executive chef, that ranges from forty to sixty thousand dollars. So now maybe those wages will actually go up, Kate. Well, and sometimes you already had the fixed tip in there, right? So sometimes you already knew what you were paying anyway without having to decide, oh, how much am I going to tip? So now with them adjusting the cost, maybe it's really, it really is well, just a wash, like really you said. help uh, tensions in some employment places because right now you've got the craft cocktail industry that's taking off, mixologists. Chefs are kind of getting jealous of these mixologists because they're saying, look, we do just as much work. We don't get tips like you do. Mm -hmm. So maybe there'll be some balance there as well. Restaurant drama. Yeah. Yes. Here's <laughs> where it goes and what we see happen.